Guys, I am Imran Ahmed from Pakistan, and uh, today I am going to show you how you can integrate Swagger in ASP.NET Web API 2. Swagger, uh, first of all, let me give you the idea or the benefit uh, what you can achieve by integrating Swagger in your web API. It, it gives you the uh, facility of uh, documentation your web API with along with all the uh, methods and their uh, request objects uh, not only the documentation it also gives you the facility to call the web api and give you a decent sample uh, request object like this and when you press a tryout it will call your web api and show response under this uh, try button tryout button so let's start to integrate swagger in web api create a empty web api project uh, swagger empty web api and in solution explorer yeah, visual studio is initializing the project Now let's start. Go to package manager and browse and install Swash Buckle. Swash Buckle in your web API. See, it has almost 1.52 million downloads and install 5.5.3 version. Other are pre releases as I checked. Uh, pre release uh, checkbox. So press OK. And Swagger is installed. And uh, here you can see in App Store there is uh, a class Swagger config.css. Go in there and just uh, 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 there is a lot of uh, code is uh, commented uh, it's basically commented because uh, there are a lot of configuration of Swagger and you can enable it by uh, uh, according to your need by uncommenting it and uh, this is the basic introduction of Swagger so I just uncomment this and there is a XML method which is not present yet I I'm creating a method under it and changing it to string we can return the path of return system dot dom app domain dot current domain dot base directory plus the path of XML which our project will create go to the project in properties and in build section there include XML documentation and copy the path you can click on XML documentation file uh, checkbox and control s to save it and here just add that path and this now build it and now swagger is integrated now let's test it by adding a controller a web API empty controller let's name it uh, user controller and uh, let's make a class in models uh, user class and add some only I am adding two properties which is name and email I guess so so in user control let's make a two method quickly get user by name string name and oops sorry making a HTTP 
get method and let's define a route for that route api slash v1 oops sorry slash get user slash name and here just return ok with new user object and set the name property to the parameter name and the email property with the name plus you can say gmail.com and here we have the one method of HTTP get let's quickly make a HTTP post method to add a user add user and it's HTTP post method so it doesn't require the, it's required the parameter user and we here we will return user dot name so here we have really quick method now let's start our project and see the swagger UI in action when your project is running just type your project slash swagger and here we go uh, I have only one control so it's showing and uh, there are two methods in it so it's also showing there so let's type my name and when I click on try it you can see the response of the uh, API and when I click on post method of add you can see a decent template and I'm writing my name and imran at gmail.com and when I press try out it calls the web api and return me the name so that's it for now and if you people will like it i will uh, demonstrate the uh, uh, more feature of uh, swagger